Art means different things to different people. The joy of completing something, you know. For Greg Adams, making furniture, frames, and other things out of Willowwood is just that, making stuff. His kind of work is like a big puzzle, but he picks the pieces. I have a little reverence for trees. I just don't want to cut them and then take the good part and throw the rest of it away. I'll take the smaller pieces like this, and I'll weave them in, into something practical like this. Adams is just one of 130 people who were part of the Indiana Artisan Marketplace. Metal worker Heidi Mandich was another. What's not to love about taking plain metal and wire and using hammers, saws, and fires to turn it into jewelry? <laughs> there was all kinds of incredible artwork around here at the fairgrounds from all different kinds of genres, and one of my favorites, the art you can eat. To take something and create it from scratch in our kitchen, if that's not an art, I don't know what it is, you know? Well, they started John Tom's Barbecue in Muncie, named for his grandfather, who never wrote down his famous sauce recipe. Art takes experimentation, and he did just that to come up with three signature flavors. Eat my sauce, wipe your face, and make a mess. We use chocolates from around the world. Jane Hoadley's candies look pretty enough to put in a museum. She and her workers hand up the chocolates, including their most popular piece, the sea salt pecan chew. I love to make caramel just because of how it smells. Each artisan with unique flair all count on Indiana shoppers to let them keep doing their kind of art. Reporting in Indianapolis, I'm Anna Carrera, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.